here once again with another L'Oreal Colorista product to test it out for you, show you if it's worth your money or if I'm just continuously wasting my money. Eh, not continuously, it was just the teal one that really didn't work. My hair is a little bit lighter than it was since I did my ombre. I obviously know that this is not going to show on dark parts, but I think it would be kind of cool to have it as highlights. If you're interested in seeing my DIY ombre balayage, I guess this is balayage, not really ombre. It's a slight ombre. It is lighter than it is at the top of my head for sure. Excuse my weird part. These are about $10, I think maybe $10.99. I got this one at Ulta. It's for blonde hair. What you're supposed to do is wash your hair with shampoo, obviously, and then after you get out of the shower, you towel dry it and apply this all over to the parts that you want it on. I have found from experience that it looks a lot more even when I do it on dry hair. So right now my hair is a little bit damp still from my shower. I'm going to wait until it's completely dry and then do it. It just works better for me that way. You leave it on your hair for 30 minutes for best results and then you rinse it out just with water. I would try and use cold water if you can stand it. I usually just stick my head in the tub and do my hair so I don't have to shower again. Depending on the color, it varies. This one says it lasts four to eight shampoos. They usually last a little bit less than that, I found, at least in my hair. I know that depends on the type of shampoo that you use, how often you wash your hair, obviously, if you use any other products, if you're using heat, all of that stuff can affect it. Either way, it's a fun thing to do temporarily. You can try all different colors in your hair and you don't really have that commitment. It's only for a few days. I know they sell a color remover. I don't know how well that works, but even if you hate it, it's gonna come out very soon. And it's a good way to see if you'd wanna do it in a permanent color as well. I'll speed through the process because my hair is long. You guys know that it takes forever. If you've seen my other videos, I've done the teal, burgundy, red, pink, my hair was darker at one point, so I tried the darker colors. If you haven't seen those videos, check them out. I'll list them in the description as well. All right, let's get started. I rinsed out my hair with cold water and it's completely dry now. This is what the color looks like. It is very subtle. It made it darker in the blonde parts and I feel like it looks a little bit green in certain lights. I really wish my hair was lighter so that it would show a lot more. There are some very blonde hairs that I randomly find that are very, very blue now. Yeah, I feel like you can't even see it. I'm looking at my computer screen and I can't really tell right now. I think for the colors that are intended for blonde hair, I definitely need to lighten my hair more, but like I had this one strand right here that was really blonde and it just doesn't show a lot, so I'm not sure. I know these products are kind of uneven sometimes. It does show, but it looks looks like almost a grayish, greenish, bluish color. I don't know, it's kind of weird, but kind of cool. Even though it's sad that it didn't work super well on my hair, at least it can be helpful to someone that has a similar hair color to mine. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. I love you so much, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!